The lack of enclosure on diode lasers is a bit concerning. The chances of seeing the laser from the back without eye protection is pretty good and we don't want that. I've come up with a very simple, inexpensive method to alleviate some of this. Not solve it, but alleviate it. Stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how. First, before we dive in, let me just show you what this thing is. When I was walking around the shop, the view I had, you can see from this camera, from the backside is not protected from the laser light, and that's not cool. Please excuse my shop, it's a complete and utter mess, and yes, I have to do something about it, but that's how Ben works. What I came up with was a little puck, and that little puck reduces the angle of attack that your eyeballs need to be at to see it. If that makes any sense to you, I, I'm not sure, but it, it does to me. Then I added an EVA foam skirt around the outside, which also blocks a little bit of the light and also gives you a space guide for what the laser height should be. I've also been working with the air assist and seeing if there was any way to make it better. I've got a little air pump that I purchased off of Amazon hooked it up, it works quite well, makes cutting infinitely better. If you don't have an air assist, get one. There is no excuse not to have one of these things. For 50 bucks, you can increase your cutting power at least two times. Just get the air assist, do it. So here is what I've come up with. To get the files for this, I'm going to put them up on printables and you will be able to find them on a link below. We have the air assist nozzle right there. That is just so I can figure out how to fit everything in. We're gonna hide that. Next thing I started with is the puck, the collar and the skirt. So we start out with the puck. It's nothing more than a 30 millimeter diameter circle and then a clearance hold to be able to clear the air nozzle. I've also added some lines along the outside so that you will be able to uh, engrave those into your wood and be able to line up your laser nozzle. Next is a simple little collar. This is nothing more than it gives us a little bit more glue area onto the nozzle when we put it on. And lastly is, is this skirt, which I do out of EVA foam and I add little slits so there's brushes. One of the bonuses is that this surface here is within half a millimeter to a millimeter of the focus. And that is probably within the range of what most of us are gonna be able to manually do anyway. So I place this down onto the piece that I'm gonna cut, lift it up slightly, lock it into place, and know that it's gonna clear the material, cut, and do all the air assist and everything that you need. You'll also notice that I have a secondary line right here all the way around. And why is that line there? Well, that is so you can line this guy up onto here when you glue the two pieces together. Then CA glue this all the way around the outside and Bob's your uncle. Added bonuses are that it keeps the air assist air in where it needs to be and makes for a cleaner cut. I know what you're thinking. Some of you people are gonna say a couple of things. One is, is I don't want something dragging on the surface of my, my cuts. And I do understand that. Make the EVA foam skirt just a little shorter and lift it up. The other thing that might come up is that it might hit uneven surfaces and drag, but that is kind of why I made the cutout to have little tiny fingers. At the same time, it might not necessarily be in your best interest to have the skirt. Sometimes it's just to have the disc. There are also gonna be people out there that want that little tiny dot to line up all of their laser cutting and engraving. And I fully understand that. And if that's the case, this isn't for you. But for the vast majority of stuff that I do, I don't, locate things by that dot. I locate things by giving it a test cut and seeing what happens. Really, it comes down to cutting out three parts, two out of three millimeter um, plywood of any sort, maybe a acrylic, whatever material that you have. The second part is, is to cut out an EVA foam skirt. I'm sure that people can go out there and probably find some brush material or something that we can put around the outside. Maybe we could use fake eyelashes, I don't know. But the whole concept of that is, is just to kind of keep everything nice and contained optically, not the best, but better than before. It reduces your need to build a giant enclosure for it. I think that this should be one of the first things that you laser cut 
and glue onto the nozzle. I just glue this thing on with CAA glue. People are gonna think that it's permanent, but the fact is, is that CAA glue sort of sticks to aluminum, but not really that well. So if you glue the puck on there, it's really not that hard to break it off. You clean off the CAA glue schmutz and you should be fine. There you have it. This is my sort of air hockey puck, air assist, uh, optical saver, spacer, machine, doodad, hang them. This is just a really simple cut. And what it can do is three things. One is that it saves you, for the most part, optically. It's not perfect. Please don't come down my throat and say this isn't the solution because you're right, it isn't the solution, but it will make things slightly safer. Slightly safer is better than raw, okay? So let's just go with that. Number two is that it helps with the air assist in keeping your cuts clean. It seems to blow the smoke out better than most of the other things by keeping the airflow in the area it needs to be when it needs to be there. And lastly, with EVA foam, it allows you a spacer. So it's a kind of a three-in-one multi-tool for your laser. Try it out, let me know in the comments how it goes for you. But again, I think this should be one of the first cuts for anybody that is using an air assist on a diode laser that is planning on doing some cutting or engraving. It will save you your eyeballs for the most part and help you out in the long run. If you wanna get one of these lasers, I highly recommend you do. You can find the link down below to purchase one of your own.